Hello everyone and welcome to NASCAR.com Studio 3. I'm Jonathan Merriman, joined from the R&D Center by Jay Fabian, Managing Director of the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. Jay, all three series back on track this weekend at Chicagoland. A lot of action for the fans to digest. It's, it's twofold, you know. It's good that all three series are back together. It's good that all your resources are in one place. It's also a little bit challenging to run all of the practices and run all of the things you need to do with the staff that's there. You know, and you get any kind of weather or any kind of situation, you're rescheduling, you know, three different series instead of just your particular series. So it's good to have all the resources there, but it, it can be a challenge if, if anything goes crazy there with the weather or anything else. Now, I think last year, if we think back to Chicagoland, the big thing that sticks out to us as race fans is slide job, slide job, Kyle Larson versus Kyle Busch. We had a great race there last year. How are things stacking up uh, for this go-round? Yeah, it's funny you bring that up, the one-year anniversary of the old slide job from Dale Jr. So this this year should be should be better. You know, all the metrics are up in all the mile and a half we've had, but maybe one, the passing's up. So um, I'm anticipating and, and anxious to have a really good event, really good race out there. Maybe the same type of finish with more than just two cars involved in it. So it's been about a month since our last true mile and a half racetrack. Uh, racing, as we know, from, from the onset of the season, it's been evolving. So what do you expect we'll see with racing this weekend? I think you'll see a lot of, a lot of what we had at Kansas and a lot of what we had at the 600 for the Charlotte race. You know, the, the races have gotten better as a team, try to understand what they, what they can about the cars, um, you know, the trade-off of, of downforce and drag to try to get the most out of it and what the driver can tolerate as far as how free it is, you know, that, that makes it go fast. So it'll be interesting to see how much the teams have picked up since the last time we've been at a mile and a half. Now you've been on the other side of the garage. It's 10 races to go before we get to playoff time. The pressure is mounting. We're talking about single digit point figures keeping people inside of the playoff picture and outside of the playoff picture. I mean, it's, it's go time in that garage. How do you anticipate that'll affect what we see on track in terms of urgency? Yeah, the urgency is definitely there. So, so my first year in being the series director at Daytona, everyone was anxious because everything was new. Everything was different. The people were different. The first time I've noticed the, the anxiety level of teams getting picked up was at Michigan. From the minute the garage opened, there, there was some pretty intense folks in there. Not that they aren't every week, but it was noticeable at Michigan. You get to Sonoma to the road course, everybody likes it. Everybody likes Sonoma. Whether you like or don't like driving on the road course, you like the environment. It's, it's really nice out there, so that relaxes everyone. And I'm gonna say that that's pretty well out the window at this point. We're gonna see what they have for us at Chicago, and I, I anticipate some pretty intense folks in the garage and behind the wheel. All right, Jay, we appreciate your time. We appreciate you guys watching at home. We'll see you this weekend at Chicago.